seriously hurt. Tonight, Texas connects us through the power of the sun. Solar energy is growing rapidly across Texas. ERCOT projects the number of large solar farms in the state will soon double. NBC 5's Kevin Coakley visited the newest plant in Haskell County while it was still under construction last spring. Now that Alamo 7 is up and running, Kevin went back to see it in action. The sun-splashed panels move ever so slightly. Just more than 423,000 solar panels, each precisely tracking the sun as it crosses the West Texas sky. Yeah, they'll all kind of just keep moving a little bit, you know, not constant, but it's just uh, every so often they'll communicate back to the control panel and, and tell them to move it just a little bit. Spread across the Circle S Ranch in Haskell County, north of Abilene, Alamo 7 is the largest solar plant of its kind in North America. Well, there's two sensors. One controls the north-south um, motion and the other one controls the east-west. While solar collection panels at other big plants remain fixed in place, more than 10,000 trackers at Alamo 7 each keep 42 panels in perfect alignment with the sun. Uh, it'll move this panel to the, from the east to the west as a unit and then it'll also tip from the north to the south at the same time and the idea is to keep the sun perpendicular to the face of the panel to maximize the amount of radiation that we can get. Generating electricity since the end of September. There's a tremendous amount of data coming in from individual uh, trackers. The solar plant now produces enough energy to power 26,000 homes. There are 106 megawatts right now, 106,000 kilowatts we're putting out to the grid right now. Yeah, I mean, the sheer size of the site, you know, covering 1,400 acres is a difficult challenge, but you have to break it into small chunks. Construction at the plant once employed 450 people, but now operating a massive solar farm the size of nearly 1,000 football fields takes only 10 full-time employees. Yeah, the guys will do what we call a tracker run. They'll go out in the morning, make sure everything is facing the right direction, see if we have any issues. Maybe some trackers didn't, you know, wake up when the sun rose. The sun rises higher every year on solar power here in Texas. In just the next four years, the number of large solar projects like this one is projected to double. By the end of 2020, 41 different solar farms all across the state could generate enough electricity to power all of Dallas County. The explosive growth of solar energy promises to benefit towns like nearby Haskell, nestled in the shadow of the West Texas oil field. Yeah, we're used to our, our uh, livelihood coming from the ground, either oil or farming, and it's, uh, uh, it's exciting to see it uh, come from another avenue. The abundant sunshine above is now becoming another major source of energy across much of Texas. We're seeing a lot more people coming in, kind of kicking tires, looking for property, seeing how they can do it. Texas looks great. I mean, it, you know, it looks bright. The future is very bright uh, for us here in Texas. Uh, we, we will continue to build here in Texas, and uh, you know, we, we'll look at different opportunities and, and see what the future brings. In Haskell, Kevin Copley, NBC5. Thank you, Kevin. In addition to Elmo 7, Con Edison operates three other solar farms in Texas and is already building another. We got lots of sun, wind, and oil. Hey! That's